Hi there, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. Still here at Comic Con at Jacob Jarvis Convention Center in New York City for 2014. I'm here with Jerome Walford. He um, puts out the book Nowhere Man. Now, Jerome's going to tell us about Nowhere Man, how it came about, and also some of the other new projects he's working on. I believe we have like a uh, kid superhero book also coming out. So, with that, I'm going to let Jerome tell you what's going on with him and about Nowhere Man. Hi, thanks for having me again. It's been a really exciting year for the series Nowhere Man. We actually won the Glyph Comic Award this year for Best Male Character, and that was really exciting because it, it showed me that uh, folks were really starting to embrace what I was doing with the series. Certainly, it's a, a big risk, but uh, it's certainly paying off because I think people are ready to see something a little bit different. Uh, a story that's very diverse and also uh, very complex in terms of the style of storytelling. And so this year we released uh, two more books in the series. So we're now up to five books in total in the series of Nowhere Man. And uh, the uh, fifth book just came out this month. So it's been very exciting to see how fans are responding to that for the very first time here at the show at New York Comic Con. What about the other book you're doing here? That's right, so we're also trying to branch out and introduce some other new material. We're just launching our first kids series. It's called Rambunctialunctious. It's a space adventure that follows three kids as they travel their way through the multiverse. And the uh, characters and adversaries they meet along the way. It's a very hyper, silly and funny story um, that's uh, loosely based on my own kids. But I think the stories are very relatable that kids in, of all ages can enjoy, of course. Now, do the um, children have superpowers? They do. It's a mixture of high-tech and magic-based uh, powers that they use uh, throughout the story. And it's really about how they encounter different situations that are somewhat overwhelming and how they deal with it with both courage and humor. Now, when will this be available? We actually have samplers today of the series um, at a very low cost. It's a way for us to gauge what the reception will be uh, for the series um, as we begin to introduce it and do more with it. Uh, we're going to be doing more with it um, from a publishing standpoint starting next year, but we're here at New York Comic Con to give people a taste of what we'll be doing next year. Um, also, who's doing the um, art for the um for both books? I'm still doing most of the art for both books, both for Nora Man and for Rambunctialunctious. And so it's, it's certainly a very challenging uh, schedule. But at the same time, I'm really motivated and passionate about these stories, and it, it certainly keeps me going. And how can they get their books, get your books, besides here at Comic Con? Sure. The um, series Nora Man will be available on Amazon. Comixology and also for direct uh, purchase through our website Forward Comics. We will also be posting, ordering uh, information for Rebunctialunctious a little bit later in the year. And how much is the price? We're actually doing a great deal here at New York Comic Con. So if you buy them at, here at New York Comic Con or at basically any show that we do, we give you a huge discount. The standard price for our single uh, books in the Nowhere Man series is $12 which is a great price point because it's really a, a, a thick uh, trade issue uh, with 40 pages or more. And of course, if you, if you buy them uh, all together as a set, you get an even deeper discount. All right. Uh, before we go, do you see your um, combo character being done up in movies or animation by any chance? Well, that would be very exciting. We're actually hoping to see something like that happen. And we are uh, going to spend some more time next year uh, putting that, uh, an effort towards seeing that happen. And we're certainly open to it. Uh, you have a character right here that you, is that one of your characters you're working on? That's right. Some of the images that you're seeing here in the background are from some other exciting developments here at Forward Comics. We're actually getting published in an anthology being published by Arcana. And uh, they're a great publisher uh, with over 300 graphic novels to their name. 
we are doing the cover for their anthology being published sometime later this year, hopefully, or maybe sometime next year. We're, we're still waiting to hear exactly when that will happen. But this image here is uh, from that anthology, a steampunk-based uh, uh, anthology. And that's really exciting to see um, the kind of collaborations we can start to do uh, and hopefully help us to do what we really want to do, which is basically become a, um, a comics production company and then find the right partnerships to do the uh, publishing side of things. So it's been a very exciting time for us. Well, thank you, Jerome, for telling us about what you're doing and all the great things that's happening for you. I'm Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at Comic-Con at the Jacob Jobs Convention Center in New York City for 2014. With that, we will catch everybody later because I have other interviews I'm going to be doing. So, take it easy, everybody.